So we have one order for these orange nails in size small and the shape short almond. Another order for these brown nails in size medium and the shape medium coffin. These purple nails in the size extra small and the shape medium coffin. As you know, I've already filmed a video on these and these nails are quite popular to be honest. So yeah, I'm going to make them again for another customer and she wants a shine finish on everything and she has some custom size requests. And then from my website, we have an order for these brown nails and she wants them in a size medium, medium coffin shape and a shine finish on all of them. And also she had a custom size request and she has listed down her custom measurements from her thumb to her pinky. Okay, so you guys know the drill. I'm just going to show you, well, this is my website and I'm just going to show you the nails that I am going to be processing today. So it's these. I'm, I haven't filmed these because honestly, I don't have the time. An order for these, an order for these, and an order for these. And if you don't already know, I have filmed a whole video where I packaged and shipped these nails. So do check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know that was quite a direct and straight in intro, but yes, I'm jumping straight into it. But welcome if you're new here. I know I have got a bunch of new subscribers, so welcome guys. And of course, thank you to all my returning subscribers. So I'm measuring out my nails as I always do. So this is 10 millimeters. I use a soft tape measure just to get an accurate measurement. So now I'm going to prep the nails, I use a nail file, I'm going to file the nails and then I'm going to change the head of the nails and use a buffer. I find that with these nail tips they kind of have a pointy end so I do like to just um, smoothen out the tip of the nail with the nail file and just make it a bit more round, make it more almondy shaped. Okay, so as I said before, once I have filed the surface, I will switch the heads round to the buffer and just buff out the nails. If you don't know, this helps to make the gel polish application way more smoother because you don't have bumps from the filing. So once that's all nice and buffed, I take a fan brush and I dust off the excess powder, dust, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I get rid of that. Now we can apply the base coat and I always use the one from Beatles but of course you can use whatever base coat you prefer. Once that's on, cure it for 60 seconds or however long it takes to cure your gel polish. But yeah, moving on, I'm taking this very vibrant orange colour, like I really love this colour. So yeah, I'm going to do two coats of these. I actually messed up guys. So instead of doing three nails with the orange and then two nails with a nude colour, I did all of them orange, but that's not what I was supposed to do. So do three nails orange and two nails nude. This is the clip of me correcting what I was supposed to do but prior to this I did accidentally do them all orange so in the next clip you're gonna see of me applying the second coat you're gonna see that all of them are orange. I hope that provides a little explanation as to why they were all orange. Okay, so these are the nails and how they're supposed to look like, so yeah. 
This is me applying the second coat of the orange and as you can see they're all orange but obviously they're not supposed to be all orange. Ah, that was a long-winded explanation that I'm sure nobody asked for but yeah if you were curious that is my explanation. Okay, so now I am applying the second coat of the nude colour and then cure that for 60 seconds and get started on the actual nail design. I'm going to be using three colours, a white, a red and a, I think it's like a yellowy orange colour. So yeah, it's very simple, I'm just doing wavy lines and for some reason I found this so satisfying. After the wavy white lines were done, I cured that for 60 seconds and then moved on to the orange colour which I'm still not sure if it's a yellow, a beige, an orange, I don't know. But yeah, I moved on to that colour and then once that was done, I will cure it again and then move on to the red. Okay, now our waves are waving, so I'm going to move on to a top coat and it's just a shine finish top coat. Once that's on, I will cure it for 60 seconds. This is what the nails look like after curing and wow I'm obsessed with the shine finished top coats guys let me know what you think but moving swiftly on to our next set of nails I'm taking the three brown colors I mean they don't have to be brown you could use any colors of your choice this is actually quite hard for me to explain but I mean it's pretty simple I'm just taking a brush and dragging it diagonally in a wavy motion but I'm not gonna cure it up until the very end so I'm gonna use all three colors at once um, yeah just placing them on top of each other kind of making them not mix but melt into each other I just know that was a terrible explanation but I really hope the visuals will just say it all because honestly yeah my words are not wording right now So like I said, I don't cure the nails at this point, I'm moving straight on to the other lighter brown shade and placing that on top of the other colour and yeah, trying to merge them together as much as possible without fully mixing them. And of course wipe your brush so you don't double dip and mix your gel polish colours.
Okay, so with the third colour we do the exact same thing, it's just as easy as that guys. Just placing it on top and trying to merge the colours together. Once that's done, now we can cure the nails. Remember, I didn't cure them before, I'm only curing them at the end. Now I'm taking some nail foil glue and I'm just applying that all over the nail because we're going to use some gold flakes. Once the foil glue is on, let that sit and completely dry, completely clear. So taking the flakes, I'm going to use some tweezers to help me place them on. Not so much randomly, but I'm following the diagonal motion of the waves of the gel polish. Once the flakes are on, you can see just how much it transforms the whole nail, it just takes it to a different level, like there's a lot going on but they're also very simple. So now I'm going to apply a shine finish top coat and that is the design done. I cured those for 60 seconds as usual and then once that's done I'm just going to quickly go over these purple nails obviously you've already seen me do this before so I didn't really record it but this is the last bit of me applying the shine finish and yeah you get to see a different shape at least this shape is medium coffin and it's actually one of my favorites like it's not too short and it's not too long I really don't do well with long nails although I really love them but yeah I love this medium coffin shape. This is what they looked like with a shine finish top coat all cured. Okay moving on to the actual packaging, this might be the actual exciting part for you guys. Most of you guys know that I changed my packaging recently and I just use cards and holographic Ziploc bags. If you don't know, I already have done a video all about my packaging that I'll link below and that has all the details that you need to know about my packaging. But for now, we're moving straight on. I'm cutting up the double sided tape and I'm going to place that on so I can start sticking on the nails. I actually accidentally cut these a bit too long but you'll see in the end I managed to trim them down. So to stick on the nails I just take them off of the stands and brush off the excess dust underneath and place them on as neatly as I possibly can. Here I'm also picking off the little straight bits on the edges and I'm also going to use a nail file just to file off the excess bits of gel polish on the edges. And it was at this point that I decided to trim off the excess double sided tape because it was just too much and it just looks way neater when it's cut a bit shorter. So yeah I went ahead and did the rest of the sets and I'm going to package them up.
For the nail prep kits, I'm just going to take a mesh bag and put in the nail files, nail glue, cuticle stick, nail glue tabs and yeah that's it. It's a pretty simple nail prep kit. I mean you can add um, alcohol wipes as well, that's very helpful. But yeah, that's all I really include in my nail prep kit and I place that into the Ziploc bags with the nails themselves. So for my address labels, I literally just handwrite the name and address on there and stick it on. And yeah, that's really it. It's nothing really complicated. Then I just put the nail packs inside the bubble mailers. I don't know why but watching me pack those away was very satisfying for some reason but anyways moving on the bobber mailers are done now I'm gonna stick on some custom labels because two of these are going abroad to the USA and yeah I just put in my name address um, I tick all the boxes that I need to tick and sign and date it and that is literally it for my custom labels oh and I get these from the post office like the lady at the post office just gave me a bunch because I'm always there so yeah just ask your post office for any custom labels and I'm just gonna use my brand stickers to stick on the outside of the bubble mailers it's really not necessary but I thought it looked cute so yeah I'm just gonna stick them on and seal up the parcels So I am now on my way to go post these and the post office will stick on the labels and everything and that is me all done.